Why, look who I have here, Natalia, Tom. It's good to see you guys. Welcome. Wonderful to see you again, mate. Uh, Handsome as ever. Uh, always a wondrous experience, and even more wondrous to have Natalia yeah. here Aww. in the middle. Um, welcome to Comic Con. So, okay, let's set the scene for me first. Uh, I assume you guys have been here with the Potter shenanigans over the years. Have you been to Comic Con? I, I haven't been to here, no, not to this really? convention, no. Okay. What about you, Tom? I came once for, I want to say, the Half Blood Prince. Yeah. When. When no one else wanted to go, and I was really keen to. Uh, <laughs> oh, girl! And then I came with the Flash a couple of years ago, right, right. and then here for this time. Yeah, um, it definitely feels different this time round. Coming with uh, well, a brand new show for starters, rather than being part of something that's already been there. Sure. Uh, and the fact that it's uh, on this new uh, format of YouTube, YouTube Premium, I think it's uh, it's a really exciting bunch to be with. So, so like as of this morning, I knew honestly like next to nothing about this show. It's mm -hmm. one of those shows that like I feel like you guys kind of shot just sort of like under the radar, out in Cape Town, mm -hmm. I, as I understand it right. Uh, and then I watched a trailer that just hit because I get, did you yes. guys do your panel just? We just yesterday? dropped the trailer. Yes. Okay. What's the review? Come on. Let's I, I give it. Up. You're still here. I would have canceled it if I didn't like yeah. it. I'm like <laughs> boot him out. No, it looks really cool and evocative and still very mysterious. Like I'm still trying to like get it like. Give me a sense of sort of like what is the central mystery that this show origin sets up. I mean, we can't tell you much, <laughs> obviously. Right. But uh, it, I think what's great about the show is yes, yeah, the, there's space and yeah, there's a kind of a destination which is this planet Thea. But it's why all those people are on that ship and why these strangers are stranded on the ship. And it's they're all trying to. It's like the early colonizers. They're trying to find a new a new life and they're trying to leave their past behind. They're trying right. to escape their past. Yeah, it's, it's essentially it's an opportunity for people such as uh, yourself to leave behind right. the, uh, the terrible... <laughs> the life that I've created for myself, well, I need to... Did you say to... the wife? <laughs> 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 oh my God, you heard it here first. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta make a call. Cracks are showing. No, uh, leave your terrible wife or terrible <laughs> life. <laughs> Any of it. As but, I understand, but yeah. in watching in the short clip that was released, it doesn't seem like this trip goes so well, though. It doesn't seem like this is necessarily the mm. best idea. Uh, well, yes. Essentially, the, the s we start by finding out that um, 490 of the 500 passengers have been evacuated and all 60 of the crew have left the ship as well. But not us. Yes, there's just 10 that are left without any explanation and without any idea of how to, right. uh, you know, fly a spaceship <laughs> or, or what the hell is going on. Uh, we deal with a kind of male malevolent ship. I mean, it's... It's not a nice ship. Is no, it? it's, it's not, not friendly. It's not a nice place to be. It's not, it's not a space <laughs> travel as I. It's not San Diego. <laughs> no. And uh, and you've been shooting this in South Africa. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. give me a sense of what that's like. That must be a, a gorgeous, amazing place to be in. Uh, as far as locations you've shot in. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I don't think there's anything you could possibly say bad about it. The, the no. people, uh, the obvious, beautiful scenery. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. The landscapes. I mean, I climbed over a mountain four times with my dog. <laughs> There's lion's head that's amazing. I mean, the, the coast, like Camps Bay, it's just beautiful. The food and the wine is, yeah. That went full, like, ranger outdoor. <laughs> like, I'm here, I'm doing I it. I took my dog with me, and we just went. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, for, you, for you guys, generally, is location something a big factor when you take on a, a gig? That's a good question. That's uh, it plays a factor. It does. Like, uh, so, but then if you read, like, a script, and you're like, you're, I mean, I've done, I've done something where, like, in a really cold place in winter, and you're like, I do love the script, but this is going to be, this is not, this is hard. Right, because probably the first read, you're not necessarily thinking that. You're just thinking the material, oh, this is a great part, great story. And, and then, I've got then a job. Get, then, you get yes. then you go yeah. practical, you're like, wait. Yeah, 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 exactly. I've got to live in bloody, uh, well, I'm not even going to list the <laughs> Yeah, yeah list the places you hate. <laughs> oh, that, that's where I was like, <laughs> yeah. No, I think to me it's more um, the people, obviously. Yeah. We were very lucky to have uh, Mika and Paul Anderson uh, right. setting the tone and setting the bar really high, and not only are they both really talented they're both really lovely approachable people and fun yeah. like with paul he i don't know like i could hear from the way he said cut that we'd nailed that scene like yeah. or nailed that that take just so it's like cut no he's a big personality i've been on his sets before and he's a big oh. he's a big presence yeah. right yeah, yeah, yeah enthusiasm yeah. There's, there's like this childish enthusiasm which you get you know with sometimes first time directors but obviously tempered with you know a huge amount of experience and talent mm. right it's great i'm like like felton who just walks in and is like Let's just get this over with, guys. You know, just, I just, just, we just do one take. I don't even do that for any off-screen lines. Right. I put no. a tennis ball there with a, a <laughs> You draw on your face at least? Good like. luck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and funny enough, the other actors seem to prefer it than right. to my actual performance. Well, I I'm mean, not sure what that it has is. its benefits. <laughs> um, so it must be said, it is kind of an odd uh, kind of 
thing of fate that you guys are together again, right. you know. So are you a package deal? How, when you learned that the other was involved, oh, what was your take on it? Yeah. No, I didn't know. I, I found out when I got to my apartment, I got given my phone. And they're like, oh, the, and there was the list. And I was like, you're joking. Because <laughs> we didn't work together actually in Harry Potter. Right. It's actually, I've got to know him through conventions and press stuff. And got it. Yeah. Like we years realized, after. We never spent a day <laughs> on, set. on set together, ever. I never saw you in costume. That's amazing. Ever. Uh, <laughs> we just made fun through all the junkets and various different bits and pieces. Uh, Who suffered from more Harry Potter PTSD, you think, in the, in the years? Well, this Who? one actually has PTSD in, yeah. the, <laughs> in the show. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's Potter. Really. You can use it, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think it still hasn't really sunk in. I guess to me, I don't know about you, but it doesn't feel like it's really going anywhere anytime soon. No. Uh, <laughs> just, and it's a fun, like, it's amazing now. So most of the fans that come up weren't born when we started making the films. So it's a little scary how, how, yeah. how quickly time's flown. But uh, yeah, excited by the passion and love still. Have you guys seen Curse Child on uh, Broadway? On the stage? Or, yeah. Oh. Yes. Okay, so I, I've never done this, but I had a friend who came to London. He's like, it was his birthday, and he's like, why don't you get tickets to the show? And I was like, I can't. And he's like, you're in it. You're in the film. You're blatantly. <laughs> and I, I used, I, I literally went to my agent. I was like, I want two, two tickets yes. to the first child, but all in the same day. And thinking, like, she'd go, Nat, shut up. You're not getting that. And she was like, of course. Would you like four? And I was like, are you You've got tickets to the first yes! child? Right. Is the reason you haven't seen it, you can't get tickets? I yes! don't believe that. That's no, not right. true. <laughs> Genuinely, it's amazing. I don't want to reach out to Joe. I'm not gonna reach out to Joe because you know, you know, what I mean, it's just pestering Hi. her for some buttered presents. <laughs> yeah. Although I heard the Malfoys have quite a presence in it. This so. is what yeah, I'm saying. Do. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be very excited to see it sometime as well. I right, think yeah. you would dig it. You would. Right. So, do you know the story at all? We're not gonna act it out for you now, unless Natalia, you want to just. Oh, you I would I... love to see your rendition <laughs> of <laughs> both parts. How long have we got, lads? Yeah. You have seven and a half hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's, do <laughs> Let's do it. I got my wand. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, I am very excited to see it. My mum and took my niece the other day, and she said it was she was, was really really impressed. Not only with the story, but also the oh the productions, are yeah, insane. So I'm excited. It's the, like the, the magic tricks they do are like what, yeah. what? <laughs> oh, do it again. Um, I'm also talking again. Yes, you're right. Potter's never going to leave any of us. But the Fantastic Beast cast is coming by over right. here. And is there is that like a unique kind of perspective for you guys to see that kind of new cast enjoy the spoils of this rich? mind of Joe and sort of see what th them go through it. Has that yeah, been a fun and I like it being point? in America. I really, I really want to, I really hope they do something, you know, around World War II. I think that'd be very interesting to see like wizards and, yeah. and that kind of universe. Um, yeah. The world is expanding. Yeah. You know, is, it, is it David Yates again? Yeah. I see. I just love seeing Yates He's and so great. Heyman and Rowling They're still together. Yeah. Those three are a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> <laughs> and, and even though I don't, I, I do definitely separate the two. Uh, as completely separate franchises, really. It's nice to see that world is still being brought to life so brilliantly. Yeah, that's amazing.